breaking. 4.6 billion era flood court finds discredited ex minister Fanny Kayode over absence in trial. Welcome to today's news. The Federal High Court in Lagos State on Wednesday awarded 200,000 era cost against discredited former minister of aviation Femi Fanny Kayode for his absence from court to take his plea on alleged 4.6 billion era fraud. Fanny Kayode is being prosecuted before the court by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, alongside the former Minister of Finance, Mrs. Nenadi Esther Usman, and Juan Danjuma Yusuf, a former chairman of Outgone and a limited liability company, Joint Trust Dimensions Nigeria Limited. The defendant's prosecution had commenced since 2016 before Justice Tule Muslim Azan, who has been elevated to the Court of Appeal. Midway to their trial, before Justice Azan, the defendants, defendants' pleas were retaken. Also midway to the defendant's trial, Justice Aikwa was transferred to another jurisdiction of the court, and their case file was transferred to the new judge, Justice Oziago, for the matter to commence afresh. At the resumed hearing of the matter today, the prosecutor, Mrs. Biliki Subuari, informed the court that the matter was to start afresh, but Fanny Coyote, who is the second defendant, was not in court to take his plea. The prosecutor therefore urged the court to revoke the former minister's bail. However, Fanny Coyote's counsel, Evil Ajudua, Ajudua pleaded with the court not to revoke his bill, saying that a letter has been written on behalf of his client, who he claimed is currently on bed rest at Kubua General Hospital, Abuja. Ajudua also told the court that the second defendant has been readily attending his trial since the matter commenced in 2016. He apologized for Fanny Coyote's absence, begged the court not to revoke his bill and also asked for a short adjournment. But the trial judge, upon perusing the court's records, discovered that the former minister had been absent from court for five times, a development which the judge said has stalled the smooth hearing of the church. Justice Osiago, therefore, gave two options of either to revoke his bail or a fine of 200,000 naira. And his counsel opted for fine option. Following the fine option, selected by the Council Justice Osiago, find the former minister 200,000 naira cost, which he ordered must be paid before the next adjourned date. The matter has been adjourned till November 30 for the defendant rearrangement. The Federal High Court in Lagos State on Wednesday awarded 200,000 naira cost against discredited former minister of aviation, Femi Fanny Kayode, for his absence from court to take his plea on alleged 4.6 billion fraud. Fanny Coyote is being prosecuted before the court by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, alongside the former Minister of Finance, Mrs. Nenadi Esther Usman, and Wanda Juma Yusuf, a former chairman of Algon and Limited Liability Company, Joint Trust Dimensions Nigeria Limited. The defendant's prosecution had commenced since 2016 before Justice Sule Muslim Azan, who has been elevated to the Court of Appeal. Midway to their trial before Justice Azan, the defendant's case file was transferred to Justice Railwan Equa on the ground that Justice Azan was formerly a legal officer with the prosecuting agency EFCC. However, while the matter was pending before Justice Ekawa, the defendant's pleas were retaken. Also, midway to the defendant trial, Justice Ekawa was transferred to another jurisdiction of the court, and their case file was transferred to the new judge, Justice Osiago, for the matter to commence afresh. At the resumed hearing of the matter today, the prosecutor, Mrs. Biliki Subari, informed the court that the matter was to start afresh, but, Fen but Femi Fanika Yode, who is the second defendant, was not in court to take his plea. The prosecutor therefore urged the court to revoke the former minister's bill. However, Femi Fanika Yode counsel, F.B. Ajudua pleaded with the court not to revoke his bill, saying that a letter has been written on behalf of his client, 
who he claimed is currently on bed rest at Kubwa General Hospital, Abuja. Ajit Duat also told the court that the second defendant has been readily attending his trial since the matter commenced in 2016. He apologized for Femi Fanikayode's absence, begged the court not to revoke his bill, and also asked for a, jo for a short adjournment. But the trial judge, upon perusing the court's record, discovered that the former minister had been absent for, from court for five times, a development which the judge said has stored the smooth hearing of the charge. Justice Osiago therefore gave two options of either to revoke his bail or a fine of 200,000 naira, and his counsel opted for fine option. Following the fine option selected by the counsel, Justice Osiago fined the former minister 200,000 naira cost, which he ordered must be paid before the next adjourned date. The matter has been adjourned to November 30 for the defendant rearrangement. Now I've come to the end of our today's news, and now before I go, in my opinion to this, I believe um, what is really happening here, the reason why Femi Fanikayode has not been attending the court, has declared him being guilty of, um, of the alleged accusation against him. Because if actually he's, he has not been um, um, he has not been guilty of the offense that was alleged against him, in fact, even if he has to be absent at the court, not up to five times, and this this is actually this is actually a point of being in guilty. And um, let's move to the comment section and let's know what people's opinion is all about. Yeah, the first comment here, which I have says says um that was the reason the self-centered animal called Fanica they dump PDP to APC just for his criminality to be forgiven. The second comment here, yeah, which I have here says, to, today, says, um, today is shouting, Buari, 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 our mumu, not too much. Yeah, I have another comment, which is, so, they have not pardoned him yet after joining them. This shows even them, they fear this FFK, which is, um, Femi Fani Kayode. Another comment here, which I have here, states, uh, state that, why would not... The judge revoked his bail as they do to common man, money backs judges. I have another comment that says they have left him behind. John APC will never save you, rather, it will bring you more close for trapping. A comment here says, um, In fact, I commend Mr. President for the good work through EFCC. He thought that running to APC would set him free, shameless politicians. And then lastly, comment here, which I have here, says FFK has nothing to offer to any political party, but is just waiting to give him a shocker. The same way that he did to Tinubu, Tinubu will never be a president of Nigeria as far as is concerned. Marked my word. Now we've come to the end of our comment sections too. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Thank you.